basically, depending on how the board gets fabricated, depends on that process flow. And the more complex the board, obviously the more complex the process flow. So typically, something like a sequential lamination with blind and berry vias uh, could have up to 30 to 35 pages of process flow logic. So what the fabricator does from this process flow logic, he's going to develop a traveler or a root card that basically tells the shop floor uh, the flow of the process and he may have special instructions in there as to what's actually required. Uh, so he may have certain recipes for uh, plasma, he may have recipes for the plating cycles, he may require certain edge back requirements based on um, your fabrication notes and the rules and obviously the specification. So uh, you could have internal specification as we mentioned earlier um, or you may be just defaulting to IPC um, class 2 or class 3 and if you're not giving them any specification the fabricator is just going to default to IPC class 2. So this process flow is what your fabricator is going to use to generate a traveler and from that there will be special notes, hold steps, etc. generated to make sure he meets your design or builds the actual product you want him to build and build a reliable product. So part of that data extraction is obviously uh, critical dimensions. Uh, there, there could be reference holes or reference fiducials on the board itself. It could be an array form. Uh, so it's where the tabs are actually placed uh, in the array itself and this could be critical if there's edge plating because the designer may have critical areas that need edge plating that he does not want a tab to actually be placed. Uh, so things like that need to be discussed or indicated on the fabrication drawing notes which, which areas are critical on the design itself. I mentioned earlier about panelization. This is critical to the board cost because the fabricator is going to make a fabrication panel. And that's typically an 18 by 24 inch. And he's going to have areas around the board that he needs to uh, put targets, fiducials, uh, any test coupons that he actually needs to uh, use for verification. And the board you see at the bottom 